a lot more red than white. Yeah. Yeah. And can we touch base after the webinar too? Uh, I'm not sure what number I should call you. It's probably in your email, I'm sure. So I'll take a look at your signature line. I'll call you. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Hello everyone and welcome to the Evolution Travel Cafe Supplier Webinar with Apple Leisure Group today. We have Susan Creighton here, uh, the BDM of Apple Leisure Group. So I'm going to let her take it away. Thank you, Amanda. Hi everyone. I'm, as Amanda mentioned, Susan Creighton, your new business development manager as of early this year. Um, I know some of you, this may be the first time you're hearing me or joining a webinar that I've been conducting. I've done several um, since uh, taking over at the beginning of the year. Um, but there's just some information on the screen to kind of get you familiar with who I am. Uh, I've been in the area here, the territory in Southern California for about 15 years. Um, but I've been in the industry starting actually in the travel impression side about 20 years ago in reservations on the East Coast. So I'm 20 plus years of travel uh, tour operator experience. Uh, again, based here in Laguna Niguel, California. And then I've got just a couple of my hobbies, things that I'm interested in, which of course travel, cooking, which I've been doing a lot of lately, which I'm sure many of us have. Uh, lawn bowling, which is a unique sport, <laughs> but something that we have down here in the area that's a lot of fun. It's a lot like bocce ball. And then, of course, spending the time at the beach with my friends. Um, being a Southern California native, of course, I think uh, any of us on the West Coast, that's a big hobby of ours. So there, my uh, information is there as well. If you need to contact me, my cell number, as well as my email address, if you want to jot that down. And um, I know you're familiar with Marco Forlitti. I do want to let you know that you still have him in the territory here. He is based in LA and he is our new regional director of the West Coast sales team. And that happened, he got that promotion uh, I think it was at November of last year. So if you haven't heard, he's had a big promotion. Um, I, I do want to uh, go over some of the new policies that have been put in place um, since we have entered into this new new era of post-COVID. So I'm calling it post-COVID because it's actually since it's already been started. So um, we had a lot of policy changes that came up due to the situation and um, also just some additional tools for you to utilize Entered to help in. you with your business. And I wanna keep this somewhat uh, casual. So I'm gonna be asking if you have questions between each of the segments. So um, it'll be easier than I think than asking questions at the end of the webinar. So new policy refinements that we put into place were effective June 1st. There's a couple that I'm gonna mention that were a little bit ahead of that, but the majority just happened about two weeks ago. 
Some of you that have been contacting any of the ALG brands may have experienced some of these new policies. Um, if you have been conducting any new business since June 1st. So, um, but if you have not, this would be uh, definitely new to you. So the reason why we did this is of course, we are in unprecedented times, which I, if I hear unprecedented one more time, I think like all of us, we're just gonna <laughs> wanna scream, but it is true. Um, we've had some huge changes in the way uh, business is conducted uh, based on what's been happening in the last almost three months now. Um, it's been difficult for all of us. This is not just a travel related, as you know, it's pretty much everything that's, that's has been impacted in the world. Um, and with that, we've had to revisit our policies to help preserve your business as well as ours to make sure that we are uh, the go-to for you uh, with making bookings and securing those bookings for travel in the future. We've listened to you since the beginning of what's been happening with COVID on some of the things that you needed, some of the places that we thought there were additional needs for you that we have um, put in place that are optional, and then some of the tools that we'll be going over um, that you can utilize that I'm gonna show you at the end that are on the website so that you can get more information. And we are extremely, extremely happy that we have the agents like you who are supporting us. Um, it's times like this that you really understand what preferred partnership is all about. And we wanna make sure that we are here for you and that you are aware that we are listening to you. And if you have any of those needs, you can always reach out to myself or Marco. So thank you very much for all the support. So some of the things that we're gonna be covering are, we have changed the accepting of terms and conditions to allow you to have some optional, optional um, ability to make sure that your clients are aware of what the terms and conditions are when they are making a booking with Apple Leisure Group. We're gonna talk about the refund process for our new Travel Protection Plus plans, our new deposit policy, um, cancel and change policy, changing uh, of the payment form and our new hours. So what we've done with accepted terms and conditions, we found out um, in the last three months that some clients are really not aware of what the terms and conditions are when they're making a booking and not really understanding when penalties are being uh, applied and where that information is and that that is something that could be the case if they are canceling their trip um, prior to travel. So we've made this an optional choice for you where you can now send the terms and conditions to your clients via a link or a static form that you can offer them that they would sign off on and that you could keep in your own files. Now, I know many of you are very, you know, conducting your, your business and are very savvy. You understand terms and conditions and you may be doing this on your side already, but we wanted to make this an optional uh, uh, ability so that you have these tools for you in case you wanna utilize it on our side. So again, this is optional. So when you're making the booking with any of our brands, when you're finalizing it and you're sending over information to your clients using the payment link, in that payment link, there will be a place for them to accept the terms and conditions. So this is what it looks like. So you have your reservation that you've made. You will go to the payment link, send the email to your clients, and in that, in that email is going to have the terms and conditions that they would then sign off on and make payment. And then that will be noted in the booking on our end. You can also utilize a static form. It's available on, oops. Should have been another page in there. That's interesting. It skipped over a slide. There is a static form that also is available on the Anchor Store, and I can show it after uh, we go through the PowerPoint, of where you can just download that and send your clients and just keep it on your own end. You don't have to turn it back into us. This is, again, optional, just to make sure that your clients are aware of the terms and conditions. This is to help with any chargeback situations that some of you may have been um, 
you know, having to deal with, with clients looking for refunds on penalties that we are valid penalties, depending on when they are uh, changing their booking or making cancellations. There have been situations with clients that are canceling bookings way out further this year, outside of any waiving of penalties or before flights are canceled, that they're still um, subject to airline penalty rules. And we don't want to have you caught in the middle of any of those situations. So we want to make sure that everyone knows what those uh, terms and conditions are from the get-go. You'll notice right there where it has the payment request link next to the fund request and price match link. That is where you would click in VAX to get this email to send to your clients. Anyone have any questions about the uh, terms and conditions? Um, I'm looking in the chat right now and it doesn't seem like we have any questions yet. Okay. All right, we can, we can always revisit this afterwards as well. Perfect. Okay. Now with refunds going forward as of June 1st, for bookings without Travel Protection Plus that are air inclusive, this does not include land only bookings, this is air inclusive, either land and air or air only. As of June 1st, new bookings that are requesting a refund will be refunded as a future travel credit. Now, again, this is only for air and hotel and air only bookings. Land only and feature only bookings will still be refunded to the original form of payment, less any penalties, just like they always have. Um, contract groups, again, will also be refunded in the original form of payment. Now, now what we're looking for in this area is for your clients to be purchasing the travel protection. We know that most clients are going to be purchasing travel protection going forward. You know, I'm already hearing agents that will only sell with travel protection going forward with, with the way things are. And we have such, um, you know, unforeseen circumstances still as we move through post COVID. Uh, we want to make sure that your clients are protected and we have three different additional options of travel, or well, two additional options, three total for travel protection, which I'll be going over in a moment. But I just wanna make sure that everyone is aware, new bookings as of June 1st, air only and air with hotel bookings refunded as a future travel credit. That is for all of the ALG brands. So the travel credit itself, will be valid for travel commencing 12 months from the date of issue. So this is not from when the actual booking was canceled um, this or when the actual travel date of the original booking is, it's from when the actual travel credit was issued. So if the travel credit is issued two weeks after the, that booking was actually canceled, that time frame is going to be from that date of issue, two weeks after the original travel dates, okay? Um, so the travel credits are non-refundable and non-transferable and are issued per passenger in the original booking. They are not redeemable for cash and they must be applied to the same ALG brand as the original booking was made. Okay. So on the new booking, it would just be as if you were making a new booking and transferring funds like we're doing now with our, uh, uh, book now, recharge later promotion. Um, this is totally separate than that, but this, the transfer process is the same. You would make a new booking. You would then just go ahead and, and request the fund transfer. You would reference the original booking number and then and put a dollar on the booking. And then we would transfer those credits over to the new booking when they determine when they're traveling um, on that future travel credit. Okay. The travel transfer form is in VAX. It's very easy. We want to make sure that you're utilizing this in VAX so that you, you know, are um, not having to call in and wait on hold uh, for the call center. This is something that you can do on your own very easily. You may add the travel protection cash back onto the new booking but any refunds on the new booking would be made as a future travel credit as well, but they can have the medical coverage and the other coverages with the travel protection going forward. 
Now, at the after I do the presentation here, I am going to show you where the new Travel Protection Plus options are in Vax, so that you can see what the three options are. And I think you're going to be very excited about those. Some some nice choices for you and your clients. Does anyone have any questions on the Travel Protection Plus as far as the travel credits for bookings without Travel Protection Plus for the refunds? Um, we do have a question. It's a little different though. It says, what exactly is the option we have? For the Travel Protection Plus, I'm gonna show you that in just one moment. I just wanted to make clear that if they don't have the Travel Protection Plus, then any air and land and air only bookings would be refunded as the future travel credit. That's really the takeaway there. Okay, so I'll show you the, the three choices as we get uh, it further in the presentation. Okay, as far as uh, deposits, we have changed our deposits for our Apple, Funjet, TI, and Blue Sky Tours scheduled air packages. So, and also the exclusive nonstop vacation flight packages. So we've changed the exclusive nonstop vac vacation flights deposit to $300 per person, $100 for groups. And that is for the actual deposit. Any travel protection then would be added on to that, okay? If they are opting for published air or a bulk air package, air and land package, it's 100% of the air, either published or bulk, along with $100 land deposit. And then any travel protection then would be added on to that as well. And of course, optional. Groups contracted air is $150 per person unless the airline they are specifically contracting on requires a higher deposit. Okay, it's pretty straightforward with deposits. You'll see that in VAX when you're making the booking. Of course, it's going to come up. It's going to show you what that deposit amount is. So there really is no room for error. This is just for you to know before you're going into VAX if you're quoting any deposit and to be aware that the deposit um, uh, requirements have changed. Okay, any, any questions on deposits? Um, we have a question and it seems like it was from a little bit earlier um, and it says, where can we find a copy of the terms and conditions to be printed so we can familiarize ourselves with it? I will show you that in the um, anchor stores on Vax. And also you'll see that when you're actually in Vax in a booking that you've made in that payment request link, you'll actually see the terms and conditions print uh, are printed out in that email that would go over to your client. So there's two places, one when you're actively booking and another on the anchor store that I'll show you in just a few moments. We have a couple more questions as well. Okay. Um, so if it was a four people, it would be the 1200 plus 100 if we were in a group no 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 um those are two separate fit and groups are separate i should have been a little clearer about that so if it's an fit package it would be the deposit would be 300 dollars per person so if you had four people it would be 1200 dollars. okay for the non-stop vacation flights for fit if it's a group it would be a hundred dollars per person so groups, FIT, completely two separate types of bookings. And then the scheduled air packages, that's where the air is going to be at 100% plus $100 land. And then any travel protection if they were opting for travel protection. So, okay, perfect. Okay. Um, and then the next question is just, can this presentation be emailed to us? Oh, sure. I can, I can send that over to you, Amanda, and then you can get that out. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. If okay. you send it over to me, I will post it to the Travel Cafe website. Okay, perfect. Okay. Awesome. That was okay. the last question for now. Okay. And then for scheduled air cancel policies, this has been changed a little bit. Um, from four plus days prior to departure, the supplier ALG brand fee is $100 per person. That was changed from $50 per person. Plus then of course, any normal supplier penalties that would be associated with that booking, whatever whatever that may be. 
Um, so that's really changed just $50 per person with going up to 100. The 100% non-refundable used to be two days, two days to departure. For, and of course, this is for if they do not have travel protection. It would be 100% non-refundable. So really there's a 24 hour window that's been added to that. Southwest Airlines for the Southwest Vacations brand, they do provide an air refund in the form of travel, the travel funds, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with, that your clients can then utilize through Southwest Vacations on a future trip or through Southwest Airlines directly. Okay, any questions there? If not, then I'll... No questions. Okay. Okay. So this is just, I know there's a lot of information on here. It's pretty much just kind of re reiterating what I have mentioned as far as the cancel fees at the bottom. The top, as far as change fees for land only, you'll see that the current policy is two plus days. It is $25 per booking plus any supplier penalties if they were making changes that were in within penalty. Um, there, that has not changed. There's no change to that policy as of 6-1. Where you're going to see the changes is in the scheduled air packages. Okay. So you'll see there, again, I can email this out because it's, it's a reference piece, but you'll see where the new policy and the old policy, how they compare. And I will send this over to you, Amanda, so that you can send that out for everybody. Change, uh, share the cancel fees. You'll see there at the bottom also laid out. So there's a difference between change fees that are just changing dates, whereas cancel fees where they're flat out canceling. Now, another area that we changed uh, policy was in changing form of payment. This is for all brands. Occasionally, when a booking is made, for some reason, a client may want to change the form of payment. They've used one credit card. Now they want that credit card refunded and another credit card charged. You'd be surprised. It does come up. Also, there are times when an agent may be charging and then turning around and wanting to change that form of payment onto a different credit card. It was a $25 fee. It is now changed to a $40 fee. This is completely avoidable, but if it does happen, I just want you to be aware that that um, amount has been raised to $40. Okay, now also you'll see down there in a note, this does not mean if they put the deposit on a MasterCard and then they paid full payment on a Visa that they're gonna be changed for changing uh, the form of payment. This is only if they have made say the deposit Say they charged that $1,200 three months ago. Now they're asking, I want that refunded back to the old one and I want to put that $1,200 on a different credit card. That's when we would be applying that $40 fee. Doesn't come up too much, but enough that there is a administrative fee to it. Okay, and then our call center hours have changed also. So I do want you to be aware, Monday through Friday for Pacific Standard Time, it is 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday 7 to 5, and Sunday 7 to 3. Um, the post-travel customer care um, line is Monday through Friday, and that is from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I did want to make a note of that. Hopefully many of you are using VAX, um, but if you are utilizing the call centers, be aware that those um, hours have shifted from about an hour during the week. Um, it used to be until 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so now it's uh, shaved down just until six. And then we are coming up to the 4th of July holiday where we'll be closed, so I did wanna make a note of that. So that kind of ends what the policies are. I do want to go show you the travel protection, but is there any questions at this time, Amanda? Um, yes. Okay. Um, we have a question. Are the call center hours for ALG or is it for VAX as a whole? No, this is for the call center for all the ALG brands if you're speaking to a live reservations agent. Perfect. And where can we find that number? Um, it depends on the branding. So each brand has their own phone number. I can show you where that is in VAX. It should be at the contact information at the bottom of each anchor, uh, anchor store page. And I'm gonna move over to VAX right now. So bear with me as I change my screen. 
let's see. Okay, are you seeing that, Amanda? Um, we're just seeing a blank screen. Okay, I think I need to go in and share my screen again. New share, yeah. Okay, tell me if you're seeing this. Yes. Okay, this is the FunJet homepage. Quickly, I'm gonna, I'll show you quickly where the contact information is just so you can see that. That is down here at the link. At the bottom of any of the brand pages, you're gonna see this contact information that's gonna give you again, the hours of operation as well as phone numbers. We talked about the acceptance form for the terms and conditions where the static form is. That is located here. You would click right on this link. That'll take you into the form. I'll go ahead and click it. You should be seeing that change. That's the acceptance form that you can then have your clients accept the terms and conditions. And also there's a waiver here if they're not taking the travel protection that they could click as well. Okay. So those are the two things I wanted to show you there really quickly, but the most important thing is the travel, the travel protection plus new information, which you're gonna see on the FunJet page, it's under travel info. You're gonna go down to travel protection plus, and you're gonna see the three options and the pricing grids. Okay. Now the travel protection we notified prior to June 8th, but June 8th is when these became um, actioned. So we now have three choices. We have full credit where they would get their refund as a travel future travel credit. You'll see that that is the least expensive pricing. The section, second option would be, and of course that's on any refundable amount. Um, less the price of the travel protection. So if they have a booking that say it's a $5,000 booking, they would be receiving back that entire cost in a future travel credit, less the cost of the actual travel uh, protection plus itself. The 50-50 cash and travel credit option is next, which would be just a little bit more expensive for that non-refundable, I mean, I'm sorry, the refundable portion after less the travel protection cost, it would be split between a cash refund on their form of payment and a 50% future travel credit. So they'll have some to use going forward and they would be getting some back. The third option is really what the travel protection plus is that you're familiar with uh, now, the full cash refund, which of course would be the most expensive option the pricing here would be comparable for the 50-50 is comparable to what the travel protection plus for the cash refund was prior to the change. So if you're looking at the old program, it was um, pricing right here in the middle. Now for the cash refund, it's just a little bit more. It's not too much. As you can see, it starts at 119 as opposed to 109, so $10, not huge. Um, and then the full travel credit is, of course, the least expensive option. There's a grid that you can see here on the on the Fax Anchor Store site for FunJet. This grid is on any of the travel protection links on any of the brands. You'll see that the program itself has not changed, just the refund um, choices. So still cancel for any reason, still covers published air, still has a price guarantee, the price of the hotel drops, that we can go back in and reprice it without any sort of revision fee. Uh, no change fees for the first instance of any changes. We have the hurricane travel credit. These are all uh, uh, parts of the program that were previously available that have not changed. And then any of the tr uh, medical trip interruption, trip delay, um, emergency ev evacuation, all of this is the same as the previous program, okay? Now, there is a change in the commission protection. You'll be very happy with this because this has been increased. It was $100 per room with the old program. Now, if they take it, the future travel credit, because we know that that booking is coming back to us, they're going to be booking again. We are uh, we are raising that commission protection to you for bookings that are paid in full at the time of cancellation to 200 per room. Okay, that's not per booking. That's per room. So if there's two rooms on the booking, it would be 400 as long as it's paid in full. The 50 50 
option with the credit and the refund is 150 per room. And if they're taking the cash refund, it would be $100 per room, which is what it currently was on the, or what it was on the past program. So you've only seen increases here in the commission protection. Okay. Um, let's see. Do you guys have any questions at this point? I know we're getting up to our... It doesn't look like we have any questions yet. Okay. Now you'll see the three choices when you're in VAX making the booking, just like you always did when you're finalizing your booking and you're, you've already booked your hotel, your air, any of your features, and you're in that feature area, you're going to see the travel protection choices. It's very clear if it's cash back, future travel credit, or the 50-50. It'll also give you those options if you um, are getting to the payment screen and you have not added that in, it's again gonna give you those three options. Um, so there really is very little area for error in selecting the wrong coverage, um, but it is, uh, those three choices are there going forward so that now you have more options, okay? So hopefully this has given you a little bit of an overview on the policy changes. You can see the policies on VAX, um, on the uh, ALG homepage, as well as the brand pages. You can see, let's see, terms and conditions here at the bottom where we were before, um, the acceptance forms, um, the uh, contact information that I mentioned earlier, so if you have any questions, you can reach out to Marco and myself. I would definitely make yourself familiar with the brand anchor page that you are utilizing the most to be aware of where these um, are and, and what they look like. Click around, see what all, you know, what all that's included. Um, there's a lot to be investigated here. Uh, if you have any other questions, like I said, you can e email me or give me a call on my cell and I'm here for, you know, any assistance that I can give you. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and hand it back to Amanda. Um, I hope everybody is doing well as we come out of this, uh, the stay at home. <laughs> we are now starting to see in California again, uh, restaurants and bars and shops and beaches starting to open up. So we're pretty excited here. I know it's different depending on the state that you're in. I was telling Amanda prior to this call that I'm gonna be flying for the first time on Friday. So I'm kind of excited to see how that new process is going to feel like and what that experience is gonna be. So I'll have more to share with you next time we chat. And with that, thank you for all the support and have a great rest of your day. Awesome. Thank you so much, Susan. We really appreciate you coming out and doing this webinar for us again. Um, again, I'd like to let everyone know that Susan has done a few webinars with us before, and you can find those recordings and this recorded in your Travel Cafe website under the webinars and training tab. So don't miss those. If you haven't seen them, go back and see them. Um, if you didn't watch this, go, go ahead and watch this from the beginning from the um, recording. And again, we just want to thank you so much, Susan, for coming out today. And we look forward to your next time. And everyone check your events calendar for next time Susan will be out. So thank you again. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day.